This video is going to go through how to strip down a core dropper post um, and it's on my calibre. So first things first, you're going to want to undo the seat bolt there, so mine's nice and loose, so mine will come out like that. So once you've got that all the way out, like this, you want to make sure you disconnect the cable. So to take the cable out, there's a little slot there, you're going to want to push up and it comes out. So now that we've removed the cable from the seat post, the seat post is now free. And then we're gonna, I'm going to go through how to strip it down into the part. So now that the dropper is removed, I'm at the end of the seat post where the cable went in, a little slot there and then there. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn it anti-clockwise and maybe if yours is too tight um, set another adjustable or adjustable um, spanner any anything that can really get round diameter of around an inch and a half to loosen it so it's anti-clockwise so mine's pretty loosened so and keep on turning and then the strut will come out so there's a head the that's got a thread on it so that threads into the top of the seat tube and then there's the bottom here this uh, threads into here so that me put that aside and i take off the top anti-clockwise again so that pops up with a seal there then you're going to want to pull up, pull up really tightly and that should slide out that there and there's a little part to it a little part to it there as you can see so that hard is to break down the dropper boost. Yeah. And you've got your, uh, your gas strut here. 